And we're here at the ID Tech X show. And hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Aaron Johnson with AccuMold. We're here at the ID Tech X show talking about micromolding. Uh, we specialize in high precision, small and micro sized plastic components that's uh, uh, enabling technology for all sorts of applications sensors, wearables, medical devices. If you're looking to do more in the same space or more in less space through plastics, Acumold is your team. We'd love to talk to you about how we can help you make your world smaller through plastics. And, and hi, and who are you? Yes, hello, my name is Petra Badra and uh, I do business development for Acumult in Europe. Um, yeah, I'm German, living in France, and bringing um, yeah, new contacts in Europe on board. Yeah. So what are we looking at here? Can you hold it a little bit higher? Yeah, so here's a variety of molded components. Uh, these, several of these here are for hearing aid uh, components. Um, very complex molded components, uh, flex circuit over molding, there's a fabric uh, filter over molding, there's a little tiny gear. All sorts of micro and small mechanical components for medical and uh, microelectronics. So how do you do this small gear? Yeah, so the, our specialty is in injection molding. Uh, Acumold started 30 years ago with the invention of a micro press dedicated solely to small high precision plastics and that's really where we've stayed all these years. Yeah. So let's check uh, some of these, for example, what is this? So this is a little tiny capacitor housing. It's actually a, t a little tiny box with uh, very thin wall sections and a very tiny through hole of maybe only uh, about 100 microns in diameter. So very custom to small features and small details. And this? This here is a, um, a tine for a hearing aid ap application. Again, uh, very thin sections there. Um, a lot of the components that our customers ask us uh, uh, about um, require very thin component um, geometries or um, very difficult tolerances. And uh, what is this, for example? This here is an example of a Bluetooth antenna from many years ago, but it's an example of where we've molded uh, an LCP, a liquid crystal polymer material, on a very, very thin stamped uh, piece of metal. This was used in uh, laptops for Bluetooth communications. Today, this is a much smaller device, but uh, it kind of shows some of the um, experiences we've had over the years. Uh, so this is a lot of small, small things. Um, and what are the materials totally, all the materials you have? Yeah, so uh, at Acumold we deal mostly with thermoplastics. Um, they're, they range from very highly engineered materials like PEI, um, a polar, a po a polyether imid, to peak, a polar, polyether ether ketone, easy for me to say. <laughs> um, but there are thousands of uh, thermoplastics on, on the market and we deal with some of the most uh, uh, sophisticated engineered resins. So uh, what kind of business are you developing right here? Uh, what kind of uh, uh, partnerships are you doing? Yes, I mean, we are connecting food in different industries. Uh, we do a lot in the healthcare industries, and also a lot of with companies um, with sensors, uh, uh, doing the sensor housings, uh, and uh, yeah, really wide field of industry. And uh, this is compatible with all kinds of things people do? Absolutely. It's all custom, bespoke um, injection molding. So we're helping companies with their next generation designs. When they're looking to shrink devices, um, you know, uh, the mechanical components often are in plastic, especially very economical for high volume um, type applications. And so we're here to help, um, you know, uh, tell the story of Acumold and help companies with their next generation devices. Uh, doesn't it cost a lot of money to make a new mold sometimes? Sometimes it can be uh, expensive, but um, especially with plastics, the more volume there is, the, you know, the, the, the more efficient that becomes. And so really that's a, a, a big advantage of injection molding. So if you're looking for high volume production, injection molding is often kind of a really good uh, business case. Do you do big things too? We focus only on about five centimeters and smaller. Most of what we do is maybe less than two centimeters. So we're really focused on micro injection molding. So you've done billions of small things? Billions of small things. For 30 years? 30 years, yes. And uh, is it growing market? Oh, absolutely. You, you yeah. hear the phrase, the world is getting smaller. Uh, Microelectronics, um, micro molding is a big enabling technology for that. So the more things that shrink, um, the more opportunity there is for microplastics. So hearing aids are very small? 
the hearing aid. We've been in the hearing aid market for probably 25 years. And if you're familiar with today's technology, many of them are very sophisticated. Um, Bluetooth connections and other connect type of uh, biometrics. All of that has been enabled by micro technologies, microplastics being one of those enabling technologies. And here's, is transparent too? So another big market for micro molding is uh, polymer optics. Um, whether it's uh, fiber optic connectors for datacom or um, little parts um, optics for imaging. Um, we've done several optics for medical devices that go inside the heart or inside uh, the body for imaging or other diagnostics. So, so the so smaller the better when it comes to minimally invasive medical devices. So you have a real estate in hearts. Absolutely. All over the world. All over the world. It's, a, it's important to make it the right shape. Exactly. Otherwise, there could be an issue, right? Right. Yeah. right. So Acumold's history is built around high precision, very close tolerance molding. So, you know, we're talking microns uh, in in many cases. Um, here's the smallest commercial part that we've molded that I can show you. There's a few smaller parts in development, but this is only 800 microns at its longest feature. Um, it looks like the, the drawing there you see in the middle. Um, and uh, it was part of a laser photonics package um, and held a little bandpass filter. The how toughest thing about this part was handling it, not yeah, making it. How do you put it in the thing the right, right way? Well, I usually tease and say small fingers, but uh, that was certainly <laughs> part of the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> Is it using magnetics or something? or? Um, uh, Micro robotics and a lot of tweezers, I would imagine. So, <laughs> so there's going to be more and more micro robots, right? I would assume so, as the world continues to shrink and the demand for smaller things comes uh, into fruition. That's what a show like ID Tech X is all about: the new technologies to help the next generation, um, you know, markets. So, how's it been the ID Tech X show? We love it. We we have a great uh, couple of days here. Um, a lot of key individuals and a lot of uh, smart people come together. So. Uh, um, we have a great um, uh, opportunity uh, here at ID Tech X.